in this couple of minutes. I will see you shortly. Thank you, Dennis. Lakeland leaders are asking groups to stop feeding people who are homeless in public spaces. And ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into the new regulations city commissioners want to enforce at city parks. Live music, festivals, and farmers markets can happen any given day at Lakeland's Munn Park. It's also a meetup spot for people experiencing homelessness. I'm here probably five days a week. Kenny Krebs spends most of his day on the park bench, not knowing where his next meal will come from. We depend on them to come out here and feed us. Krebs is talking about the various organizations that come to Munn Park during the week to feed the homeless. A lot of people would go hungry and they would not have anything to eat and they would starve. Lakeland Mutual Aid tells me the need is great. They serve food to as many as 120 people every Sunday at Munn Park. A combination of people who are unhoused it's a combination of downtown workers who aren't really being paid enough to pay for the meals that they serve everybody else. It's a combination of a lot of people that are just, you know, working poor. Nearby business owners say although feeding the hungry is charitable, they are left to clean up the mess. These folks are using alleyways and door fronts as public bathrooms instead of utilizing the facilities that are nearby. City leaders are now drafting a new law that would restrict food sharing in the city's parks. It's an effort to deter people struggling with homelessness from gathering. But those who advocate for the homeless hope the city will find a resolution that benefits everyone, including those who might need help the most. I think it would have a very devastating impact on the community as a whole. For, you know, just poor people in general, people on fixed income, uh, we, we bridge a gap that the city isn't. Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.